I'm Lucas Landers, and I'm a camera maker from Brooklyn, New York. This is my most recent camera, the Landers B35. I've been making cameras for eight years now, I want to say, and basically working my way through camera history, more or less, getting to the point where I'm making what I believe is the best camera in the world. When I was young, we didn't really have a lot of money, so everything we needed or wanted, we either built or repaired. So that it was like a real need back then. But as I grew up and as our situation got better and better, that became less of a need and more of just a, a thing I loved doing. I was gonna go to school in Oklahoma though for engineering and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna apply to one art school. And uh, so I Googled best art school and Pratt was actually number one on the Google results. So I said, I'm gonna apply to one. If I get in, I have to go. So I moved to New York. I'd never been on an airplane before and I came here all by myself. Art was n nothing I'd ever been I'd never done art before, didn't know what I was doing. I was lost, I was trying really hard to do all this kind of stuff and I was, I was learning a lot. And I was getting really into kind of the more archaic processes like big old wooden cameras and when it came time for me to do that, I thought, hey, these things are pretty simple. I don't have a lot of money right now so I can't buy one, but I have some plywood and some pieces of metal I could probably make my own. Recently, I've been getting more and more into like CNC metal work. I have a full shop with um, multiple milling machines and lathes and CNCs. Precise and accurate machines uh, is what I'm going for, which is why I got this little guy right here. What I do in the shop with like this machine, for instance, it's very precise and calculated, and everything has to be thought out. But when I what I make with it is a camera that I can then take out into the world and be very free. Like I just walk down the streets of New York and just take photographs of whatever catches my fancy. When I pick up the camera, it's more of a it's it's more of a an experience of love. What CNC has done for me is it's it's liberated my designs quite a bit. I can be a lot less rigid and more creative and I don't have to constrain myself nearly as much. There's 12, like 15 or so parts in here, each of which had to be designed and with, with nuance. But that doesn't bother me anymore because I can just pop it in here and 20 minutes later I get a part, a usable part. And it's like, it's one of those things where it's infinitely scalable and challenging. You're never, you're, like I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of things to learn in this field. And so like some people play video games uh, and that's what they do when they get home after work. And I do it because um, for the same reason, it's infinitely scalable and challenging. 